Jake Wood and welcome to Shreveport Aquarium's Backyard Bayou. This edition, we're taking you here to Shreveport Aquarium and we're gonna take you along on a journey that some of our fish took all the way from the middle of the Florida Keys right after Hurricane Irma all the way up here to Shreveport, Louisiana. We've gotta rewind about three weeks to show you where our trip began on our way to Florida. So certainly an aquarium, no aquarium without the fish and that's one thing that we're doing right now myself and our Director of Husbandry Operations for Planet Aqua Group, Chris Falding. We're taking this big truck you just saw all the way down to Marathon Key, Florida. In a normal car, that's about 20 hours. In this big behemoth, we're looking at about a day of driving each way. And to keep those fish safe and alive all the way from Florida to Shreveport, we've got some special equipment inside the truck. I've got Chris in here. He's working on the final preps for us to get on the road. Chris, tell us what we have in here. Hey, uh, so what we've got here is just basically a simple tank that uh, is a plastic tank that holds, I don't know, three, four hundred gallons of water for the fish to travel back in, connected to some simple filtration. We've got a pump that operates on some 12 volt boat batteries right here. And of course, we wouldn't travel a long distance like that carrying live animals without some, uh, some oxygen to provide the fish uh, to keep them healthy and safe all the way back. 1,235 miles starts right now. more unfortunate but awe-inspiring parts of this trip is going through the keys to see the destruction in the wake of Hurricane Irma. But even more impressive, the resilience of the residents of the keys and the cleanup efforts that have happened only just a week after the hurricane made landfall. since you saw us left. This is our final shipment that we brought in. These things had to get loaded onto airplanes. This is our shark transport tank. It's come all the way to Shreveport, well, to Dallas. We had to take it from Dallas to Shreveport by way of Australia. We have some great reef sharks in here you'll see inside of our ocean tank. So we'll let you see those guys soon. So these are all of the boxes that just came off of the truck. We're opening all the boxes. We're making sure that everyone's accounted for. We've got our attendee list, and we want to make sure that everybody's here at the party. So we're going through all of the boxes in sequence to make sure that everyone made it here safe and sound. Then they'll begin their acclimation process, where we start to introduce them to the water that they'll find in their new homes. And once everything balances out, then they'll get to go see their friends in their brand new tanks. As you can tell, we got a lot of work to get done, so we've got to get these guys acclimated to their tanks, so we'll see you guys soon. Now that all the fish are ready, come on inside, let's take a look at them. So we're about to hang out with some guys that really everybody wants to know. And I'm kind of super excited to be able to go behind the scenes with them today. The first one that we're going to meet is the big cheese, the head guy. He's paying to look at fish for a living. This is Nate Carpenter. Nate's the curator for Shreveport Aquarium, and we, we caught him right in the middle of, uh, I like to call it fish looking, but you have a scientific name for it? Well, I don't know about scientific, but it's called a basic health check. Basic health check. That's, I'm going to be basic health checking fish all day. <laughs> well, after we do the basic health check, then we're going to do a life support check. Okay. And basically, these fish don't have the ability to survive without the life support. And so it's very important that it's all running properly. The life support system is the backbone of the Shreveport Aquarium. All of the tropical systems, with the exception of just a few, run through that system. Uh, now it's not only just a few filters, there's an entire network of filters, sterilizers, protein skimmers, everything that takes the stuff that shouldn't be in the water and takes it out to keep these delicate saltwater fish alive. Nate, quick question for you. What does the big red button do? And 
So the big red button is the emergency shutoff, and I will strangle you. So we better not touch the big red button. <laughs>
Kids, let this be an important reminder. Even the fish had to eat their vegetables. Oh, you getting after it. This is one of my favorite parts of the day here at Shreveport Aquarium. It is shark feeding time. And who doesn't like to see a shark eat? It's like shark week every day here. So these guys are swimming around in this large ocean tank right now in what's known as their swimming pattern. And it really is the perimeter that they swim all the way around. So we've got one of our guys up top putting some fish in their swimming pattern. Let's take a look at these guys getting their snack for the afternoon. We're going to catch up with Planet Aqua Group's Director of Husbandry Operations, Chris Balding. Chris is the one ringing the dinner bell right now. Let's take a look and see what he's up to. Well, today we're feeding um, kind of a variety. We're always trying to offer a little variety so it doesn't get boring for them. Um, a little bit of uh, bonita, which is a type of tuna. Blue runner, which is an, another type of uh, bait fish, basically. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? You like a bite? Uh, we've already been through the food prep thing. Okay. Still recovering from that. So what Chris is doing right now is he's putting in a special shark vitamin. Just like us, they need to have their essential vitamins and nutrients and they get their one a day as well. So we want to make sure that both of these gray reef sharks get their daily vitamin and we're going to do that by hiding it in a piece of fish. So this guy right now, taking his medicine. One thing people always ask is in the simulated ocean environment, do the sharks ever eat their roommates? And the answer is uh, yeah, sometimes, but what we do is we make sure that they're not hungry where their roommates don't look too appetizing. So we'll feed these guys on a regular basis. They'll expect the food to come from us instead of having to pick it off of the next door neighbor. What time did this guy schedule his dentist appointment? 2.30. This is one of our cow nose rays. These are the rays that took the trip with us all the way from Marathon, Florida, up here to the Shreveport Aquarium. They're happy and healthy in their new environments. They're gonna be part of the Contact Cove Touch Experience. So you'll actually be able to touch these guys. And I hear that you'll be able to take part in the feeding process as well. This is our reticulated whiptail ray. These guys came on the shipment from Australia and I think we're feeding them shrimp right now. So since they're Australian, we can say, let's put another shrimp on the barbie. Don't eat the GoPro. craziest things about the Shreveport Aquarium's construction plan was it originally did not include the iconic dome and as part of the downtown Shreveport cityscape we knew it had to be included so what you'll see inside the dome is a tribute to our corner of the state it's our dome on the bayou where you can learn about all of the flora fauna and fish that live right here in northwest Louisiana Welcome to SALT, the riverfront restaurant right here at the Shreveport Aquarium. SALT stands for sea, air, land, and time. All critical components to every dish that we have right here on the menu. It's important to us to have sustainable and local items on the menu to show you what the farmers, the fishermen, and the families behind the food right here put on our plates for us to enjoy and really what you can make with these excellent building blocks that you can find just over at the neighbor's house. We've got dishes here with influences from all over the world. So while we may be new American, you can expect a taste of the entire world. So there you have it, Shreveport Aquarium, just about open. Tickets are on sale now on ShreveportAquarium.com. We want you to come see us. So much fun bringing you guys behind the scenes to take a look at everything that's been going on here, even taking you down on the trip with us down to Florida. We can't wait to see you on the next edition. We were able to bring it to the front yard here for Backyard Bayou. We'll be back out and about, and we can't wait for you to join us again. This is a little high. 
Should I finish climbing it now or later? Ha 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 